Well, morning campers, it's the 16th of uh, February, it's 11.29. I was just gonna show you, I meant to do it, but it's getting it when it was sort of dry, you know. I keep getting asked by people about my tires. And what I do, well, what we run on here is we've got 15 inch, six and a half J wheelers. We're running all terrain, TA, BF Goodrich, 235, 7515s, 104, 101S. So they're about a ton loaded on each corner. So that's in there. They're called Badger Champions. Um, I don't really know what else to say about them. They're KO2s. They wear really well. Uh, fantastic tire, in fact. Um, and. <sighs> Michelin, and what they call them, but Michelin van tires on every four. Not van tires, Michelin camper van tires on every four. And they were fine, but these are better on wet grass. Uh, not very good when it's muddy, muddy, because they're not an MT tire. They're not a train tire. They're an all train tire. They're very good in the in the gravel. They got strong sidewalls. They steer well on gravel. Um, they seem to hold up in and out the potholes and whatever, where I go. Um, they're extremely good on the road in the wet. They grip well in the wet. I think that's because of the, the wide tread pattern lets the lets water through. Um, there's not much more to say about them, really. I mean, yeah, they're, apparently they're hard wearing. It's a good quality tire. Um, I had a really good deal when I bought mine. But I think they work out about £115 plus of VAT. Uh, I dare say if I went to my man and you were here local, I could get you a deal. Get you get you some off them. Um, but I don't know. Uh, but as a tyre, and a quality tyre, they're not particularly noisy. They're noisier than, that's what I can say, the Michelin's. They're slightly noisier than a, an ordinary road tyre. But nothing, nothing that it would annoy you. I mean, you don't really hear them when you're going along and that, you know. Um, they're just a fantastic tyre. They're really good. Um, they say you shouldn't go that big under a 7-inch J wheel. But like I said to a local garage, and he said to me, he said, well, they would be half an inch bigger, so a quarter of an inch on each side isn't really going to make that much difference. Um, they would plant better on the road if they were on seven, seven halves or eight, eight inch J wheels. Um, I've had my suspension raised at the back. It's raised up, I don't know, two inches, two and a bit inches, and I've got a double spring on there, so that I'm not riding on the bump stops all the time, which these Peugeot. Fiat Citroen vans tend to, um, but yeah, they handle, they handle well. A good tire, good quality tire. Um, don't seem to get hot. I mean, obviously, I run mine with nitrogen in them. I don't run them on or just ordinary air. You know, in nitrogen will, will keep them cooler anyway. But I like the nitrogen in them. Or, whatever they call it, it's better in it because it's um uh it's thicker than air so it tends to uh what's the word it tends to not need to pump, have them pumped up so much if that makes sense so which is which is a good thing but um but like I said I've got a man that does that as well I really don't sort of Mumble, mumble what it costs anyway. You all your secrets away, dear. But, um, yeah, so, and all in all, I would recommend BF Goodrich to anybody. I have heard people say that the Cooper ones are, the Cooper equivalent, are slightly, I think they said they're slightly cheaper, and they think, and it's, the court is out on the judgment, really. Because some say the Cooper, they prefer the Cooper. Some say they prefer the, the BF Goodrich. So I think you pays your money, takes your chance. But like I've said to people, you know, it's not a fucking racing car. So it doesn't have to be, you know, they don't have to be sort of super duper 
rip. You know, they have to be sort of like, well, they're not racing cars, are they? It's a van. And uh, it's a tyre that will do hours and hours running. What's it? You know? I mean, I think John and Mandy had them on when they were in Portugal and they rushed back and they never had no problems with theirs. And I think they run the same ones. But, um, yeah, and they're two in... Apparently, if this was a van and it had 15-inch wheels on it, it would be one... It would be two one five six five fifteens. 15s, I think. I think that's the right one. But this being a camper van... It comes with two oh five seventy fifteens, and obviously I've gone up again to two three five seven five fifteens. Uh, the speedo it makes the speedo uh, more or less accurate, being a little bit bigger. Um, I did notice it a bit strange pulling away with them because the gearing's a bit higher. Because every time the, the wheel goes round, I think it travels four inches further, so it's quite it's, it's quite high gear. It is quite geared up. But I don't notice it. But then I got my motor is tuned, and I got a map on it, and that's so I'm, I expect I'm. Well, the last time we put on a rolling road, it was two hundred and three horsepower at the wheels. So that's on one of my videos as well, the rolling road and that. Um, but I, I haven't got the, the piece of paper now. I don't know what the bloody hell that is. Um, yeah, and um, what's well, size of it? Anyway, I would highly recommend them. So uh, stay classy. Remember, no fighting. I love you all. Bye-bye.